guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today, I'll, uh, you will have seen that by the title, um, I'm making um, buttermilk biscuits, which are, um, it's an American recipe and um, it's, <laughs> you know, it's it's one of those things I've been watching for, I've been watching a lady called Paula Dean for over 18 months. Um, quarantine cooking she was doing you know when everybody was in lockdown um and um she's based in georgia and she's a, an older lady and i absolutely love her i just absolutely love her so i watch i watch her she posts uh almost daily and I, and i watch her and uh she makes buttermilk biscuits and so I thought, right, I, I, because I watched them and I watched them break them apart, you know, and uh, they look like a scone, scone, um, depending on where you, where you're from. Uh, they look like a scone, but they're not. There's no fruit in them. There's, I think, in one part of America they um, do put sugar in, and in another part they don't. Um, but I, I have. Been, like I say, I've been watching that and I watch a lot of American cooks. And so I want to give these a go. So um, let's go in the kitchen and uh, get started. Right, guys. So in here, I've got my dry ingredients. I have got um, 149. This, this is going to apparently be biscuits for two. Not two biscuits, but biscuits for two. So... In this bowl, I have got 149 grams of plain flour. I have got one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I have got a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I am just gonna mix all my, you, you, if you use a, a whisk, it acts like a, a sieve. And I'm just incorporating those dry ingredients together. Give it a good stir get it all in so that's that then I'm going to uh, add in now this is really cold butter from the fridge um, and I've cut it up into pieces to make it easier uh, and this is 39 grams of salted butter this recipe is something it's a burning desire of mine you know I have many burning desires <laughs> And this is one of them. Now, I couldn't get a pastry cutter, guys. Um, so I'm using a fork. I, I couldn't get one for love and money. And the one that I did find was £15. And I thought, no. Uh, because who knows whether I'll make these again. And as, as I told you the other week, I am not a baker. Baking is not my... It's not my gig at all, baking. But like I say, I have been watching um, a lady called Paula Dean, and she bakes these. And then I, you know, I, I watched one of my favourite ASM artists. Um, she's from Carolina. I'm not sure whether it's the north or the south. And she loves her biscuits. She was eating a biscuit with uh, something. Uh, the other week and I you know I just really want to make these biscuits they appear their appearances like scones scone or scone um, and my hands are clean guys um, yeah their appearance Oh, this is quite, it'll give you some muscles, this. And that was making my arm ache, so. You see, without somebody telling me, I don't even know. Well, I've, I mean, I've watched plenty of, plenty of it being baked, but. Because you've got your flakes of butter. I don't know whether to keep going with the fork. Yeah. I 
I'm excited about this, guys. <coughs> I'm excited. Sorry about the clanging of my bracelet. Let me tuck it up. Let me tuck it up my jumper. I think I'm going to call that a day and, uh, you know, it's trial and error. I've never done it before. Many of my viewers are uh, American and can tell me if that was right. I would really appreciate that. Now they have this um, with milk gravy. Now I, I'm going to Try them on their own first, and then I might try the milk gravy a different on a separate occasion. So there we go. Um, yeah, they have it with milk gravy, but yesterday I watched Paula. Uh, she did. She did uh, a chicken pot pie. <clears throat> and she put a biscuit topping on the top of her chicken pot pie and again it looked delicious so let's give this a go guys right the next thing that I am going to add now is half a cup of buttermilk which I've got here but I got the buttermilk from Sainsbury's guys I'm just going to make a little well and you're not to overwork this So, I did see somebody work it in at the end of a... So I'm just going to pour it in actually and go for it. My oven, by the way, is on and it's been on for a good while to get it to temperature of 400, uh, 425 Fahrenheit, 220 Celsius or in my case, gas mark seven. So, so yeah. You just go round and round and you bring it in. This buttermilk tastes like um, yogurt, you know. There we go, and it's coming into a sticky dough. Right, I think, because I'm scared to ruin it, I don't want to ruin it, I want to smells nice. So I am now going to, give me a tip. So I've, I've, um, floured my and a bit like scones guys and if you can hear my TV I really apologize for that um, um, I um, forgot to turn it forgot to turn it down I 
kind of think I'm going to leave it at that. First time, guys, and I feel as if I'm <laughs> I feel as if I'm winning at this. First time. Right, just let me wash my hands. And uh, I've got flour all over the floor. <laughs> but never mind. Sprinkle that on there for the um, get my rolling pin and flour it. And give it a little. which is about, it's about half an inch that. Now I, I might, might have needed to make it even thicker, so again, if there's anybody. And then I'm gonna choose, I've got all these rings here, but I feel as if this second to last smaller one. And then you just put them out. And don't twist, apparently. Greaseproof paper. Don't twist because um, it interferes with your layers, guys. I can see why. Now, some parts of um, America have salt in these and some some have sugar and I've not put sugar in today but I want to see how they are and um, and, I, and I may adjust the I think that's a better thickness to be honest guys than those. I think I've made pancakes there, to be honest. I'll show you in a minute when I... I'm not going to waste that, so I'll just put that there like that. Right, and then these go in the oven for... Uh, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, I think these are very thin. That one's a little bit better uh, for the thickness, I think. It's trial and error. So out of that biscuits for two, I have got two, four, two, four, six, seven. So I'm going to put these in the oven now for um, 10 to 12 minutes. Gas mark seven. Uh, 220 Celsius or 425 Fahrenheit and um, because I don't know whether to melt the butter uh, put the melted butter on yeah I'm going to put the melted butter on now actually some do some don't and there you go guys I've got my melted butter I just whizzed it in the microwave brush it on I know Paula Dean puts her melted butter on. Um, uh, before she's cooked it. I think she puts it on after she's cooked it as well. She loves butter. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put them in the oven now and hope for the best. Okay, guys. So we'll come back when the cooked. My goodness, guys. I think some are fails because they were they're slightly flat. This one has got to be my favourite. This big one. 
uh, a little bit stuck on that paper, perhaps because I used it the wrong way around. Just a minute, they smell absolutely lovely. Like, um, uh, I can never describe it. I've clearly done that wrong, haven't I, guys? But never mind. I did say I wasn't a baby. As long as I get the, um, and what I like. They look like scones, don't they? Scones. Scones. Is the fact that you can pull them apart like that. Oh, can you see? Oh my goodness. Right, I can't wait to try these. So we're going to meet back at the table. First of all, I've got a pie dish. What I'm going to do is get my little fish slice and... get them up off the bottom. I think I have used the parchment the wrong way round, otherwise it, they wouldn't have stuck. It's just me, I just can't bake. But I can, because I've baked these and I'm really pleased. I can't wait to try them. Okay. <gasps> That's the one I broke apart, isn't it? Oopsie. So they're quite delicate. And apparently, they're much nicer warm. This one was my little curly whirly gig. And so I'm going to put them on there and give them a little cover just to get them warm up until my little cup now because they're cooked. And I'll see you back at the table and we will do a taste test. I must learn. So I need to use the shiny side, do I? Okay, I'll see you at the table. I'm really happy with these. So, I've got my, my best biscuit, that was my best one. And they literally just break apart on like scones. Scones. And then I've got some butter. And I'm just gonna butter it. And again, it's salted butter because I love salted butter. But that's what the recipe called for anyway. And I'm gonna try it, guys. They are so nice. Oh, everything I dreamt of. Mm. Oh my goodness, sorry you can hear me swallowing. So they've got like a crispy outside, but so soft on the inside. They're stunning. I love them. I, 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 I can imagine these with um, a nice stew um, or casserole. You know, meat and potato and... Mm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're absolutely delicious. I love them. These are going on my on my list. <laughs> they really are nice. Even without the butter, guys, they're just lovely. I don't think I could eat loads of them. I'm gonna get fat meat. Bake. 
they are honestly really really lovely so i'm gonna switch off and i'll come back right guys i just called my son down um to do a taste test too and he had one half of um biscuit with uh butter salted butter and he had the other half with jam and he loved them both ways but he he did he agrees that they would be nice with gravy i am going to try that milk gravy guys and i'm going to try it you know and have the 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 biscuits and gravy um because they are absolutely delicious and i'm over the moon that i've <laughs> you know because it has been one of those things that i wanted to do and so i've done it now um now there's another one that i want to do which is snickerdoodles um <clears throat> now i've got the snickerdoodles recipe off a a lovely american couple i'm not even sure where they're based um i've only just recently started watching them um and they did the biscuits with that's how i started watching them because i watched something with biscuits you know which was paula dean and which i've watched her for eight, over 18 months she's fantastic she is she used to have a, a tv show on the food network um but now she cut she does on youtube uh she has a string of restaurants and stuff and uh she's based in georgia i think uh she started off with 200 dollars, and now you know she's she's big massive and um so the other the couple um grandma and grandpa um and she made some snickerdoodles uh which are cookies so they're crisp on the outside and they're chewy on the end so i'm going to make some snickerdoodles next week um i've got the, i've got the <laughs> i've got the bug now but i'm over the moon at those those biscuits uh what a terrific um and so simple to make as well you saw how easy it was i don't bake um, but obviously I'll get my, I'll get my, um, the thickness of the, the dough ready, uh, right, uh, for the next time. So I think I'm going to go off and I'm going to see how long this video is. Um, and then I think I'm going to, I'm perhaps going to sneak a haul into this guys, uh, from the range. Um, okay. So I'll see you shortly. Right guys, I've turned my TV down now. <laughs> You're going to have some music playing uh, when I'm talking and taste testing and stuff um, because I hadn't turned the TV down and I didn't want to get copyrighted and I hope hope it won't pick it up the algorithm won't pick it up anyway you know the TV so oh there's Medusa I've put her there and I've put a, a spider I got that from the range I need to take the label off I got that from the range just to go with her um, I'm really happy with her I did I did alter her a little bit one of the spiders just fell off and I am going to put, I am going to get the uh, high collar on her. Um, <clears throat> when I get to a charity shop. But yeah, I love her. I did alter her. I put some, I thought that black was too, it was sticking out too much. So I put some um, spider's webs, cobwebs on her hat. Uh, that orange stuff that my mum got me. And I put more amaranthus in her. Um it gave more of an impact, um, you know, for a, a snake type hair. And uh, yeah, I'm over the moon with her. Oh, and I put a spider on her, on her neck. Uh, she's got one on her face, one on her neck. And I've just placed that there. That's not glued on, but these are. Uh, so yeah, I'm really over the moon with her. Lots of you suggested putting her in the window, you know, on Halloween. Halloween night. But yeah, I'm I'm over the moon with her. I can't wait to do more of those. Um, so you know, if you are interested in that, I will be doing more. Um, I went to the range, I went to Hobbycraft. We're gonna have to zip through this because uh the other video is about twenty something minutes, twenty-two minutes, so um do, do give those biscuits a try though guys they are lovely they really are lovely and i will bake them again and i will definitely i could see them with a mince uh mince beef and onion and gravy you know on on top they're almost like a to me they're almost like um a dumpling that we would have in 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 britain a dumpling you know if you do your stew and your dumplings and stuff so yeah they are lovely 
Um, I picked up some, this is Hobbycraft. I picked up some foam, it's just foam sheets. I picked up a multitude of colours and they were 50 pence each for my up and coming crafts. So I picked up some chenille stems um, in your Christmas colours. Um, they could have been a pound. I think these were one pound fifty and there's a hundred of chenille stems in there. I always use um, <clears throat> chenille stems with my uh, deco mesh reeds. And if you're using 18 at a time, you know, if you if you are following a recipe and you, you're using 18 at a time, um, you know, you, you soon run out even when you buy 100. I've got a piece of foam board. Um, I think that is an inch. No, it's not an inch at all. I've got a ruler here. This was three pounds, guys. It is half an inch thick foam board i need to get an exacto knife though so um which i very stupidly forgot twice uh, i picked up some unicorn confetti um for a specific um a specific craft that i'm going to do However, you know, in the end, I found something else. So, but this is real, you know, the real, but I thought it can't, it, you know, it surely it doesn't go off or anything like that, but I don't need it now. Uh, so I'll put, I'll put that to perhaps give it Kim for cakes. I picked up some uh, craft sticks that are just like lolly sticks. Picked up some straws, paper straws. I picked up some, um, confetti red confetti and i picked up a pack of white clay uh air dry clay air drying clay can be painted ideal for modeling and sculpting terracotta colored clay also available i just wanted this in my stash guys um and there's a kilo there i'm not sure of all the prices let me look for you <clears throat> the foam board was three pounds uh the paper straws were one pound fifty the um sprinkle sprinkles were 230 the confetti oh they're hearts confetti hearts were a pound and the modeling clay was three pounds 80. um that is just for mustache i haven't got a plan for that as such as such um i can obviously see i'm using it further down the line though not immediately then I went into B and M's and I picked up some uh, paper, more paper straws, Halloween straws. Um, well, they could be Halloween. Well, they are Halloween because they've got bats on them, uh, but you could take those off. Um, Sixteen pack a pound. I picked up some Mega Slime accessory pack. In there you've got all sorts, which is really quite good. Um, I can't get in it. I, th I think this was, <clears throat> yeah, it was £6. It's crammed with 50 plus slime accessories. I'm not making slime, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not making slime. But there's things in there. <clears throat> that I could use. I can't open it because it's it's got a little uh, tag thing on. Um, I picked up oh, <laughs> random. I picked up a uh, peppermint uh, tea tree 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 and peppermint foot pack. Um, and I picked up that I was meant to use that on Saturday and I didn't. And I picked up some um. Slow cooker chicken curry, that's lovely, that is. That's Schwartz slow cooker chicken curry. Lamb casserole, haven't had lamb for ages because it's very expensive, isn't it, don't you think? Haven't had it for ages, would like to have some. Some chicken chasseur and some medium fajita and they were just 50 pence. They, was, they were V&M's. Um, and then we'll go on to the range now, guys.
um, I picked up some more foam boards. This isn't the same foam as this though, because this has a coating on either side. So I picked up some more foam boards, uh, West Foam. This was 3 49 for five boards. I think it's five. Yeah, five boards, 3 49 I picked up, I didn't pick that up. I've had that for a while. I'm gonna have to bring this up, just want it. It's raining cats and dogs, guys. I don't know whether you can hear it on my window. Um, yeah, picked him up. Uh, you know, I said that she was the only nod I was doing and then I bought the spider because I bought the spider from the range as well and I think it was 2 99 This was £1.20, I think. Uh, £1.20. Um, but there we go, you know, I've, I've gone against the grain. <laughs> um, I picked up, I've got the receipt there, just in case. I picked up some cork coasters. Uh, they were a pound then, them cork coasters. I picked up these, I love them. Um, if you've been with me since last Christmas, you'll know that I love ice skates. I've got some real ice skates. I have ice skates in my tree. Um, yeah, I, I've got ice skates in my wreath, in my big wreath. Um, and now I've got these, these are like winter boot skates. So I've picked those up as well. And I'm not sure of the price on them. So let me tell you. Um, there it is. Hanging fur ice skate, one sixty nine each <clears throat> for those. I got myself some glitter, some assorted glitters, and there's eighteen bottles in there. Um, I've got a lot of glitter already, but I haven't got a lot of colours. I mean, I've got my golds, I've got my reds. Um, but I was after all sorts of colours, so I thought, well, I might as well pick this up. And this was four ninety nine for eighteen assorted um, bottles of glitter uh, for my crafts coming up. I picked up some of these. I use these quite a lot in wreaths and stuff. I use uh, there's a wreath on my. It will be in my playlist. It will be in my playlist, uh, wreath playlist, of a deco mesh wreath that I did for my sister-in-law last year. And uh, it was a beautiful wreath. And I used these, I used three of these. So I've picked up um, <clears throat> another three. Now what I did notice this year is that they've gone up in price. Um, let me tell you what that was because uh, I was surprised myself because I've been getting them for years. I've got others in in my loft. I've got the I've got I've got other colours in my loft. Uh, I can't see it. I can't see it, guys. I'm sorry. If I come to it. In fact, I'll put it up on the screen. I picked up some uh, polystyrene balls, six centimetres. They're bu four balls for trees. Uh, I picked up um, some feathers. Some bow ties and some Christmas puddings. They're just embellishments for cards then, guys. Oh, and I picked up some Christmas trees as well. And these were a pound. Pound. So Christmas trees. Bow ties. And puddings. Well, they could be for cards or they could be for gifts, couldn't they? Um, picked up some more straws <laughs> now I'm saving the bus the best the best the best still last 
So for now, I'm just getting these paints out. I went on Friday with Kim. So I've picked up these uh, Pearl Effects 3D, um, 3D paints. So I've picked up a purple and an iridescent. I've picked up a blue, a pale, very pale blue and a, a pink. I've picked up, like I think that's like a coral and a lilac. Oh, and I've got a green. Um, <clears throat> and I picked these up, guys. These are B&Ms, actually. I've just put them in the range bag. So I picked up this gold. Come on. Come on, Claire. I've picked up this gold uh, eucalyptus because I quite like it. And that was £4, which is quite pricey for me because there's a certain range, a price range I won't go over when I'm buying flowers. Um, unless it's top quality, uh, BFA and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's called Winter Decadence or it's by Winter Decadence. Yeah, that's very, very pretty that is. It's got a bit of glitter on it. And I liked that. And I've picked these up for a wreath that I'm going to be making. Um, that I should have done last year. I should have done that wreath last year, but... Uh, I didn't continue with Christmas because I lost my sister. So um, I saw these and I thought they go really nice on that wreath because, you know, I didn't do it last year um, and the design in my mind has changed now. So, um, so yeah. So that was that. Oh, they were, uh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't tell you. I think they were three pounds each because um, I had to take them to the till for a price check, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? Pearlescent uh, pink. Beautiful. Yeah, it'd be really nice on the wreath that I'm making. Um, and last but not least, I picked up this because I couldn't resist it. I wasn't, I didn't go in there for Christmas stuff. You know, I have got so much Christmas stuff I'm not buying any new stuff this year. I'm I, I'm refusing to because I have bins and bins and bins full in the loft, um, and I I'm going to change my decor up next year. So I'm not spending money this year. Um, so what I have decided is I'm just going to use what I've got, and quite right. So you know, I mean, I I wouldn't uh, dash it off in the bin anyway. I never do. Um, you know, but I'm not, I'm, ju I'm just not wasting money and I'm not, because I'm saving for my new, new living room, which I've already saved a lot. So, and don't forget if I'm getting a new kitchen and I'm definitely getting a new bathroom. So I need those things. So I'm not, I'm going to change the way I dress the room, but I'm not going to change the, the actual decorations. Um, I am changing in the hallway. Um, but again, I've got all I've got all the stuff anyway in the loft um, because I had what I'm changing it to this year already had that. Uh, I had that about three years ago, three, four years ago. So I, I saw this and I thought this is absolutely lovely. So I couldn't resist it. It was nine ninety nine, and I thought, well, I'm going to have that one, you know, just that, just that. <laughs> you know, I had to close my eyes to everything else and walk past. But isn't that beautiful, guys? This beautiful lantern with this snow effect on it. It's absolutely lovely. I really, really like that. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna do something around that. Just lovely, isn't it? That lovely flickering candle on the inside of it. Beautiful. So that was the only thing, apart from those snow boots <coughs> and the few bits of trimmings, that was the only thing uh, 
that I bought for, for my house, you know. I just want to see how much those parcels were, guys. I just can't see it. Oh, there, gold beaded print. Oh, no, they haven't gone up. Well, uh, it must have been on one of those tags. You know, the range is shocking for pricing, isn't it? Because you look for the price, it's either not on or it's on a different tag that's saying something else entirely. So you've always got to check. No, they were. They were 79 pence each. And that's how much I've been paying for the past four, five years for them as well. 79 pence so that's it guys that's my haul so the haul was from b&m's the range and hobby craft and um we've got a fair few things coming up and to do um which is going to be quite good quite therapeutic for me uh And it's all just to have fun. No stress, no pressure. Um, and hopefully it'll be of some use to yourselves. So, I've got such a bad back, guys. I've, I've been in such bad pain this week since Friday. Thursday night I started. Friday morning, I knew, I knew something was afoot. Friday morning, I didn't go up till 10 o'clock and I thought that's not like me at all. Friday day, when I went with my friend to to get these bits and pieces, not all of them because I got some on Saturday when I went with Carl. <clears throat> Friday morning, I, uh, yeah, I just, and then while we were shopping, I just could not be bothered at all. And I thought, well, I know something's wrong because, you know, what woman doesn't like shopping? <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, I just can't be bothered. And um, the amount of sit downs that, because that, she's just as bad. She's got arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. The amount of sit downs that we had to have. And we put a little drink in the car. So we'd go and sit down in the car, have a little drink, sit and chill for a bit and then get out. That's shocking, that is, you know, and it's not age. It's uh, illness, and I just find it dreadful. But anyway, I'm 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 not here to feel sorry for myself. I have done something really good today. That's really, you know, it, it, I've got it out of my system. Um, I'm doing all the things, guys. Basically, all the things that I've want, been wanting to do, I've been scared of doing. I'm doing them, you know, like I did Medusa. Uh, she was a, a, a real burning desire for me to do for, for three years. Um, I've now made my biscuits, my, my buttermilk biscuits, and I'm absolutely over the moon with those. Um, <clears throat> and I'll let you know what else I, you know, when I make when I make more and what I put with them, because they're absolutely lovely. I hope you do try that recipe. Um, and... You know, all the things that I have been wanting to do, I am going to do. <laughs> and I'm doing, really. So it's a question of um, feel the fear and do it anyway, isn't it? Susan Jeffers, she wrote that book and I read it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And so that's what I'm doing. So, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I know this is overrun, um, but I did want to bring you that haul so I can get it away as well. Because like I say, I've got all sorts of... Uh, uh, lingering and I had cleared this table it was absolute bliss to sit at the table <laughs> not have loads of trumpet muck on it but uh, we're back to the back to the same old scenario <laughs> with me so yeah so take care and I will be back very soon it will probably be the weekend guys uh, and I'm not sure what I'm coming back with uh, maybe the snickerdoodles I might do the snickerdoodles recipe and if it's not a, a baking recipe you know, it's going to be arts and crafts. Um, yeah, arts and crafts. So take care till then and I will see you all very soon. And, and you know, if there's anything that you want to um, ask me or anything like that, please drop me a, a, a message in the in the comments box and, uh, and I'll be sure to answer you. So take care. Bye.